I've had four whiskeys that I made videos of and in between I had a couple more so I've had six whiskeys and this is the seventh one and the last one of the night because I already fell asleep after the sixth one right here in my chair but I'm going to do this last one here this was sent to me by who was that sent to me by that would be Donner Pass Whiskey he sent me this this is the signatory vintage Bunnahaven 11 year old first fill sherry bottle at 67.3% alcohol by volume should that be legal because I feel as if I've already tread into the illegal realm as it is yeah well here we go this is this is definitely the end this is going to be the last one the last one of the morning and the morning is now 4 32 a.m i i fell asleep for about an hour there but i'm back and i'm gonna try and do this justice wow Thankfully, it's a small 35 milliliter bottle. All right, what am I getting here? I smell your typical dark fruits from a sherry cask. Those dark red wine notes, those dark dark fruits. In this instance they seem to be somewhere between dried and ripe. Now let's say they're ripe. Lots of grape and raisins and figs and dates. These are your classic X sherry cask notes. Now, were these aged exclusively in? in oaks or were they uh, I, I guess this may have been completely matured in first drill sherry oak rather than matured in ex bourbon and then finished in ex sherry oak I don't know I will have to trust what it says on this here we label. Always good to get the last drop out of there. Okay. It still smells wonderful.
That was so intense. It completely numbed my tongue. Just like the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof did to me a couple weeks ago. Just completely, completely numbed my tongue. All I could get was the vibration of the alcohol on my tongue. I couldn't taste anything. I was anesthetized. I was frozen. By the strength of this. Wow. Let's see if I can do that again. But with a smaller sip. And that was not a big one to begin with. I will definitely need to add water to this. Hmm. Once again, super intense. Dark sherry note. And it's got my tongue anesthetized again. I will need to add some water to this. Let's give it a whole spoon, huh? I missed. I'll give it a little more. Just because I missed. There we are. Okay. This is one of the strongest whiskeys I've ever had. Bottle at 67.3. How did they get in a climate like that of Scotland? How did they get the alcohol by volume content so high? This is the highest alcohol by volume content whiskey I've ever had. 67.3. That is outrageous and unheard of. Yet, you know, now that I've added a bunch of water to it, it does smell all right. I'm getting those dark fruits again. Cherry, black cherry. Reasons. Dates. Medjool dates. I'm getting a toffee note too. There's a toffee note coming in on the nose. I think it's time to taste this. Oh. Fruity, whiny. And that fruity, whiny thing kind of vibrates all over my tongue. Then when I, when I swallow, I got quite a bit of uh, butterscotch and 
Werther's original kind of thing going on, along with a bit of vanilla. Oh, man, I'm tired. Did I mention that I fell asleep already here in a chair? And right there, I got I got a bed right, right there, right behind me, but I fell asleep right here in a chair. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think this is the drunkest I've ever been on camera. So please bear with me. I will do the best that I can. Mm. Did I mention this before? Or is this the first time? Is it even legal anywhere to have anything this strong? Is it legal to have a whiskey this strong, 67.3%, known chill filtered and known colored too? And it's a Buna Haven. Wow. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is great. There are all kinds of nuances of butterscotch and barley sugars and um, wine notes, dark fruits. Mm. All kinds of things going on. I'll tell you what. I have to cut this short. Because I'm ready to go to sleep again. Slancho, ah. Food quick. 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 Food quick.